Hello MechWarriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of MechWarrior Online. Today I am playing the Marauder to see because I wanted to build an energy boat with a high alpha strike and this is what we are doing today. So the Marauder to see is great for it because it has uh, the weight to actually carry enough weapons and enough heat sinks. My build is um, two heavy large lasers and six ER medium lasers and that makes it so that we can fire a 78 alpha strike damage damage alpha strike so uh yeah that's that's crazy and we can fire all of the weapons together because the two heavies is the limit for not generating ghost heats and um six medium lasers as well so this is scary it's extremely scary as you can see we're running the biggest engine because i wanted to have um, enough slots for the double heat sinks also it makes the make relatively fast so that's that's an upside of that as well um and you can see i'm running a light active prop why that? Because I didn't have the weight to put a targeting computer in there. So I was uh, after I finished my build, I had half a ton left, and I was like, okay, I could strip down the legs a bit more, but at the same time, I don't want to risk it too much, and therefore I went for an active probe. Gives me a bit of a targeting time boost, and uh, this is what I wanted because I want to target uh, components and I want to just destroy them so so quickly. Um, if you want, you could go down again in the leg armor, probably maybe arm armor. You can strip a bit of everything if you want and take an uh, a targeting computer mark one because that helps you with the laser beam range uh, or you could take another double heat sink because if you take that out you have the slots for that right but anyway that's uh, just a little bit of a side note the skills are very straightforward what you want is laser duration heat management everything else is completely optional so uh, i have not mastered it yet uh, as you can see i'm going down this path here just because i want uh, those heat gen nodes and i don't necessarily need cooldown because you will have a lot of time in between your shots to cool your mech down in terms of heat and then fire your weapons again. So cooldown is not a priority in this one. But instead, uh, get every single heat gen node that you can get and, of course, the laser duration nodes. Um, mobility would be nice, probably a kinetic burst heartbreak and um, probably a bit of a torso speed because uh, heartbreak and ki a kinetic burst helps you uh, popping quickly out of your cover, shoot all of your stuff and then getting back to cover. So this is a peaking mech and therefore take kinetic burst and heartbreak. Um, as you can see, operations is half full already or half empty, depending on uh, how you look at it. Uh, but you want all the cool run nodes. And I'm, uh, I went for hill climb here on the left side because I think it's, it's really nice uh, to you know, just have a bit of that mobility as well. 60% uh, of radar deprivation is kind of an auto include. So you go down this path here and uh, probably two cool shots because this build is hot like hell anyway that's your the, the the build for today i hope you enjoy the daily dose and if you do don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and now it's time to hit the battlefield all right first game of the day we are playing conquest on the frozen city which is very convenient because we have a cold map around us now nah, that's that's really good let's quickly check how many alpha strikes we can put out i i guess it's one okay let's let's go and do it uh, 65 percent heat 65 is um, a lot so when we are at 40 we can start doing it again and we're overheating okay so we have to be extremely careful now we are not at 40 35 damn it what am i saying i can't do math today so when we are at 35 we can do it again uh, let's keep that in mind oh man that that is a, a very very hot build but it can put out a big a huge a huge alpha strike towards the enemy now what are we going for of course we are going for big mags because they have big components and it's very or it's easier to target big components with laser beams than smaller ones because you can splash the damage to every adjacent component when you are getting washed by lasers and as such you know what we are trying to find ourselves some assault mags or heavies also that death strike is uh, getting killed from behind oh man I mean, a good job, Light Max, but wow. I, I don't want to be him right now. Okay, let's see if we can help out with that a bit. Uh, beam away. See that? It's a lot. Sorry. We got him. Good. Now, th uh, now that we got that settled, uh, there's a fight over this uh, center spot here. Um, nobody's in the echo line. Oh, and the echo in the seven line. Everybody of the enemy team seems to be on the opposite side of the valley, which means that you know we have to move. This is not dealing any damage here. This is just me poking at him, uh, trying to push him back a bit so that we can safely advance to the front line. We're running. Okay, Shadowcat in the flank. We shall remember that for later. And I'm going to the left side here. Mm, I'm the one on the front line now, which I really don't like. But maybe we can screw up that uh, ember a bit. 
before he's getting uh, hotel, hotel, hotel. Nah, too late. Too late. Okay, the Ember is going to be a problem, a big, big problem uh, for our assaults. That includes me. Or maybe not anymore. Okay, let's go for arm lock. Let's wait until the uh, Orion pops out again, or this uh, Timberwolf there. Was kind of okay. And I really want to take my time. I, I'm at 50% at the moment. 35. Uh, let's go. See that? How critical the Warhammer is? It uh, sadly wasn't a kill. But almost. Oh my god, that guy is in a bad spot. Uh, I'm going for Lima next. Uh, I cannot do it right now, but now we do it. Okay, center torso is cherry red. And we wait again. It's an extremely high damage peaking mech here. Yeah, yeah. He was damaged already, I knew that from before. And we just shoot the medium lasers towards hotel because it's a good target of opportunity. So 60% heat, 55, we wait until we got 35 again and then we can try another peak attempt. I know, I'm playing an assault that is peaking. It's not really sharing armor with my friends, but sometimes you gotta do it because it's fun. Sometimes, not every time, sometimes. Um, hotel is still an issue. Also, that was not good. It was okay though. Am I still narked? No, I'm not. There is uh, an Orion to see in Fox 5. I want to kill him. Can we push up to that, please? Okay, thank you. Let's see if that helps, if that if that's working. Oh, there's him again. Is he dead? Not quite, but almost. Okay. New target acquired. I wonder if the Orion is... Oh, there, he's still there. He was waiting all the time. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, about that. I'm sorry. <laughs> this build is so dumb. I know. I'm, I'm feeling bad for this, actually. I really do. But I just wanted to have some fun on the battlefield today because today's recording were not the best. And uh, as such, I I'll just do something stupid today, okay? Okay, let's kill him. Wasn't enough, but he's open. Let's kill him. Alright. So, uh, we have one enemy on the battlefield, which is a light mech on the other side of the map. We have the caps, so... Our objective is to hunt him down and kill him. Um, let's try to do it like this. Ah, couldn't do it. I was not in optimal range, and on top of that, I um, I didn't hit him properly. Let's destroy his legs. Come on! Can we? I want this kill so bad. No, we cannot. <laughs> anyway, we got it. We have a 12 and 4 kill ratio here. We got all of the uh, resources that we needed. And again, uh, it's a very slow paced build on a cold map. It performs okay. <laughs> As you can see, almost a thousand damage here. Uh, I wonder how it goes down on a hot map. So let's hope that we get one in the next game. Oh wait, uh, I'm going to show you this as well. So yeah, it's probably that what you want to see as well. Let's go over to the next one. Alright, second game of the day. I picked Tourmaline Desert for you and see that? I forgot consumables. <laughs> ah, that's so bad. I really want to have um, cool shots here, but I forgot it, so I have to deal with it. Now, let's see. Uh, by the way, the, the mech uh, or the, the skill points that I had unlocked last game were only 28, so uh, I wonder how this one plays with like full heat management, notes unlocked, maybe double cool shot. I think with that, the, the mech is really going to shine, or the build here. So, um, yeah, I unlocked some more skills. Uh, I got seven more. A uh, little bit of heat management, a little bit of range more. And um, again, we will see how this will go down. Let's see. Uh, it's a very hot map. Um, and you really don't want to find yourself in a situation where you have to defend yourself. You have to be the aggressor. So um, try to stay out of the fight. Try to focus or lay focus beams towards the enemy and not, not too much skirmish with them because that will only splash all the damage that you have and uh, you will not get anything done with that. I'm going to mm, push that bushwhacker. He's uh, falling down in the canyon. Let's kill Alpha. Let's commit to that. I really hope that my team can keep the other guys busy. Because that, that thing there needs to be destroyed. He's so out of position and it's a very nice easy snatch. No, not quite. I think I'm going to do one more laser beam to him with the mediums. And then that's it for the moment. So I need to cool down to actually engage the enemy. There's an urban mech in our ranks. Kill him, Charlie. And I'm going to watch the front while you're doing that. Uh, he's dropping down there as well. Oh my god. What are the people doing here? I mean, it was a, an early aggressive push thingy. Don't focus too hard on him. We have enemies in Echo 6, guys. 
You guys in Echo 6, come, come over to Fox 5, please. New target acquired. Just group up. Irby is lagged. Okay, I'm not going to shoot Irby because I, I want to save my heat for what comes up there. Yeah. All right. I'm going for Bravo now. Let's kill the even Jack. Okay, arm lock on. Laser beams. Oh my god, he was dead already. That was wasted. That was so wasted. Uh, Stormcrow. Uh, medium lasers only. I'm not comfortable with this. Ah, oh, he's lagged. Can we do this? Ah, we are on the edge of the heat scale. But I think my team got it. So let's turn around and again, watch for what's coming up there. Uh, see that? Yeah. That's an enemy sold mech. Uh, what do we have here? I don't know. It's an Atlas. It was okay. His side torso is almost open. I'm staying on him. That's difficult though. That's very difficult. Stay on the Atlas, that needs to get killed. So the important thing about this here is, stay on target. On a hot map, you have to commit to the kills that you already started, right? So if you're just um, changing changing targets like your underwear, um, you're not getting anything done and you just run hot and die. Okay, that was the wrong Atlas, damn it. That was the wrong Atlas. So uh, use your heat efficiently, that, this is what I want to say here. Use your heat efficiently. Okay, let's get in once more. And we need a good squishy target that we can destroy quickly. Like this one. Mm, Bushwhacker right side torso is open. If you see him, just destroy him. Right side torso on the Bushwhacker. New target acquired. Okay, we have the heat to do another strike, another laser strike here. Yeah. Also, uh, thank you for the New follow. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I mean, it is my announcer. I know what it is. My, my follow announcer from Twitch. Okay, it's... Uh, Ducker facing me. And again, laser uh, against Ducker is a bit of a problem because they have the better heat management. Let's see what we can do here against this guy. Come on, let's give, give me give me an angle. I want to have an angle so badly. Let's destroy him. Okay, he's, he's basically stick. He's, he's not in the fight anymore. So we got that covered. Um, <laughs> he's still getting grown. Okay, I'm pushing a left side, Echo 5, and then into Echo 6, guys. We have five, six kills now. Let's take it. Let's just finish it. Oh, no, I'm getting shot in the back. I hope my team just just covers that. All right, let's see what we can do here. Uh, they got a UAV above our heads, uh, which is bad because now they know <laughs> just uh, just fell uh, in front of me. They know that we are coming. Okay, pushing out of Echo Six into Fox Six, guys. Just follow the Marauder, which is me. Um, can we do something about this? Okay, this is bad because now my right side also is gone and with it a lot of my heat management. Yeah. Okay, we can do this here. But that's it. Keep it up, keep it up. We have six kills. Seven now. Push forward. Oh, forward guys, forward. Not back, forward. So I'm pushing back because I was critical, okay? Um, that, that means that... I wanted to preserve my firepower on the battlefield by just uh, stepping back a bit so that my team could tank a bit more and, uh, you know, I, I wanted to stay alive. It didn't work. Um, my teammates are very damaged as well, so... Just reach out and get the kills, guys. If you see a bushwhacker, he is uh, critical in the right torso. It's a one-shot. Also, target your enemies, guys. Target them. Acquired. That went downhill pretty fast, absolutely. It's 9 versus 9, and I wonder if we can make it here. Mm, that Madlock doesn't seem that healthy. Okay, our biggest tank is the Jester. Please expose your armor a bit. Don't play too shy because all of the other guys are in a worse condition than you. It's so important that in the late game you make uh, the most of out of your firepower. And uh, keeping firepower on the battlefield by sharing armor is so important. That Warhammer has an LBX, which is extremely scary in the late game scenario. Okay, guys, let's push the Warhammer and kill him. Let's make him the priority target. Or the Bushwhacker, right side, also. right side on the bush. Oh, okay, he's shooting everything but the damage targets. Let's see. It's 9 and 10 now. Jester is still alive. Oh, that's good. But again, against uh, Rotaries and LBX weapons, it's very, very tough. Wolverine is still fresh on the enemy team, so that's bad. That's really bad for us. 
Uh, okay, <laughs> that's it. Oh, I wish we could have won this. I mean, we had everything to win this. We had everything, but it wasn't enough this time. And again, um, it was um, a very hot mech on a hot map. And I did it on purpose so that you can see how it performs on this one. Of course, it runs hot. Uh, but nonetheless, nonetheless, we were able to pull off 771 damage. We got four components, two kill most damage dealt, six assists and one kill. And that is your daily dose for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel. And I hope to see you on the battlefield. Goodbye.